What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's somewhere around 6.30, 5 a.m. I'm out here this morning having some coffee, and we are checking our young juvenile chicks here for scaly leg mites. Now, these guys are kind of hard to check because they have feathered feet, but this is something that we do monthly on a regular basis. We always check for scaly leg mites. If you guys don't know what scaly leg mites are, they're actually a microscopic little bug that lives up under your chicken's scales of their feet and they're blood suckers. The life cycle of a scaly leg mite, or we're just going to call them a leg mite, is around 10 to 14 days. So that means the gestation period is really, really fast. They reproduce really fast and they are easy to spread. Any chicken owner has scaly leg mites. They just don't know it. Eventually Eventually you're going to have a breakout. Scaly leg mites only affect poultry and birds, so don't worry about spreading it to your dogs or other animals. Problem can arise after you've already had scaly leg mites, or a wild bird just happens to fly in, drop down, eat some of your chicken feed. There you are with the scaly leg mites, and you don't even know it until a couple of years later. If you own chickens and you have wild birds flying around your house or sitting up in the trees, you have scaly leg mites, and eventually you're going to have an outbreak in your chickens. You're definitely going to need to know how to prevent it, and you got to know how to treat it. And with some of the crazy false information, guys, it's a perfect time to go ahead and discuss this topic today. You guys stay tuned. You're going to love it. Now, don't forget, if you guys like all the information that's in this video, then you're going to love my new book, The Poultry Scrubs. The link is in the description below. Now, the first thing that I want to do, you guys know before I get started, is cover some don'ts that you guys may have seen from some content creators and bloggers. These creators are telling you guys to put petroleum jelly or even vegetable oil on your chicken's leg to smother out the scaly leg mites. While it has been proven, oil will smother out scaly leg mites. Remember at the first of the video we talked about all the nastiness and the bugs and parasites and insects that live inside your soil? Treating scaly leg mites with oils, including vegetable oil, what's going to happen is it's going to create a much thicker, crusty base on your chicken's leg. It's going to take longer for those scales to fall off and heal. It takes longer for your chicken's leg to get smooth, and it takes forever for the oil to actually smother out the leg mites because as soon as you put your chicken down, they're going to get filthy and the oil dries up. Now you have a caked on, guaranteed, nasty, infected soil glued to your chicken's leg just waiting for an open sore to happen. <laughs> Guys, don't put this stuff on your chicken's leg. It's made for cooking. Let's leave it at that. You're going to hear most people say that the number one thing to use is ivermectin. You're going to hear a lot of people talk about ivermectin orally, injection. Now, we have ivermectin right here at our house, and we always have it in our homestead. It is not a go-to solution for us here. We want to make sure that we do more of a preventative measure versus a treatment. Today, we're going to show you guys both. Now, what you're going to need for this treatment is you're going to need a bucket or container to dip a chicken into some kind. If your chicken has open sores, you do want the inside of the bucket to be as sterile as you can. You're going to need some linseed oil. That's refined linseed oil. It's much thinner, uh, but it's the kind that does not have the solvents in it to thin. Also, just an old brush that you have dedicated to chickens. You also want to make sure that's pretty sterile. A Sharpie. Also, you're going to need for this is warm water. That's it, guys. That's all you're going to need. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get your biggest chicken in the flock, and you want to put him down by a bucket, say like, like right here. Now... What you want to do is you want to get your biggest chicken, try to get him to stand up. So you make a mark where the feathers meet the base of the leg, and you want to get it a little bit higher than that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark just right up under here, under his belly. Since my biggest chicken is up this high on the water level, then everybody else is going to be perfectly covered. The trick is to fill up and make sure that all the leg that's exposed is covered completely submerged in water that's it now that we have our water and our bucket up to our line that right now is exactly 110 degrees our battery just went dead on our corner i would show you but it's 110 degrees the reason why is because cold water is not going to hurt your chicken but if you'll match the chicken's body temperature which is usually around 109 degrees it varies for each breed all you have to do is match their body temperature they won't jump around and splash so much the trick to this is you want to keep your legs submerged in the water for the entire 15 minute period. You don't want him splashing around, jumping. I find it's best just to hold on to the chicken, make sure his feet's touching and you hold his wings. If you hold him up too high, he's going to go to kicking and start oxygenating the water, getting air bubbles in there, his legs not going to be submerged. What we're doing is we're completely drowning the mite on the legs. 
and all it takes is a simple submerge in water. That's it. We're just making it warm for the chicken to be more comfortable. All right, guys, this is how we do it. Now, when we do this, we have constructed a lid before when we have a lot of chickens. We'll just cut it out with a sawzall, 10 snips, whatever, and we'll cut out a hole for the chicken's neck to stand out of the bucket. And then we'll apply the lid to the bucket and it'll keep them from flying out. But a lot of times that causes the chicken to jump around and move their legs even more. So we're going to show you guys how we do it. All we're going to do is sit here and hold the chicken by their wings. Now notice he's not jumping because I have matched his temperature. When you do this, you don't have to have a sterile bucket. But if your chicken has open wounds on their legs, you definitely want to make sure you're working in a more sterile environment. This bucket here is new, it's clean on the bottom, it has some stains, but there is no dirt. This chicken does not have scaly mites. This is just a monthly treatment, and we don't have a lot of chickens, so this is easy for us. You can see his legs is perfectly submerged. The uh, feathers is even wet, so therefore, we know his legs is completely soaked in water. This is how you have to do it with your chicken. This is not going to be fun for you. This is back breaking, get comfortable. You want to hold them in here about 15 minutes long without their legs coming out of the water. And all we're doing is drowning those scaly leg mites. And then as soon as we get him out, we're going to show you the second part of the process. And our mite problem is completely solved. All right, we got this guy out of the warm water soak. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to dry his legs completely off. You don't want to use paper towels for this method, so get you a dedicated chicken towel to dry them off. So, you want to make sure that their legs and feet are completely dry. Dry as you can get them. So, what I have here is some ultra-refined linseed oil. Now, like I told you guys before, oils will kill mice. They'll suffocate them if you cover it right. We only use this type of oil. Everything else is going to cause the same problem as the vegetable oil. So, linseed oil, or ultra-thin linseed oil, this is the thinnest that you can get without adding solvents to it. We don't want to add solvents to our chicken legs, especially when they have open sores. If you are going to do this process, then you need to make sure you use linseed oil. This stuff will dry, but it only starts to dry at 20 minutes. So, we know that an application of this oil will last for 20 minutes before it ever even starts to dry. The mites on the leg only need to be soaked in oil for around 10 to 15 minutes to completely kill them all off. So, a complete treatment of this all across the legs, we're gonna wait for it to completely dry all by themselves, and we'll show you what we do from there. <laughs> Remember, we do have feathered legs, so we're gonna to have to actually do a soak, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do your chicken's legs, and it's really easy. All you gotta do is just get you any brush that you want. I'm an artist, I got tons of these things laying around. As you can see, this one stains, so I don't want it no more. We save this for the chicken's leg. All right, so we're going to take that oil and we're going to make sure that it's coated all over. And as you can tell, he's comfortable. He's going to sleep. All right, so I figure we've been around 20, 25 minutes. Let's go grab our chicken right quick and show you what we do next. So here is our copper moron or copper moran. I like to call him copper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our towel. And if you are in a situation where your chicken's have big scaly legs you kind of want to be easy with this but our recommendation is use a toothbrush I always use a toothbrush and rub over those scales uh, and all the scabs they will definitely come off after they've been soaking in that oil they'll come off you just want to be easy and as you can tell he's already going to sleep again so he's not hurting we're going to take and dry every bit of the oil we want to get these legs dry the reason why is just like the vegetable oil this stuff will attract dirt not as bad but we already know our mites are dead. He's reached his time limit. Actually, he's went five minutes past his time limit. All we want to do is dry him back up and put him back down on the ground. Now, if he has a bunch of scales and we're going to have to use some type of something to hold this on, we'll go ahead and grab some big vapo rub or something with mint in it and put it on there. Mites hate it. My best recommendation is if you have to put petroleum jelly on your chicken's leg, go ahead and add some sulfur powder in with it and it'll make a paste. Once that paste dries on your chicken's leg, you won't have to worry about the vegetable oil method where everything comes and sticks on your chicken's leg and gets it infected from all the nastiness in the soil. You already have a dry crust already on your chicken's leg with a sulfur powder mixed in with the Vicks Vapo Rub. But this guy is just monthly maintenance, so we don't have to do any of that. We just go ahead and let him dry completely. Make sure that we get it all off with the towel. Let him out dry for a few more minutes and drop him back in with the ladies. Now, as an added bonus, I'm gonna throw in our DIY organic coop spray. Now this stuff has lavender, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and the main ingredient is vinegar. Now vinegar kills almost any mite it comes in contact with. 
We do not recommend putting it on your chickens or animals though, but it works great in the coop. This stuff is great. We use it all the time and that's why we really only do maintenance. When it comes to leg mites here, we've never really had a hard outbreak. We just do monthly spray our coops and we don't really have to worry about it any other time. We're gonna go ahead and get the rest of them. Thank you guys for watching this. We hope you learned something. And as always, we'll try to see you on the next one. <laughs>